Good day everyone. My name is Olivia Clark. I'm a nursing student from the Northern Caribbean University and today I'll be doing a presentation for my principles of holistic health class and I will be presenting on the Spanish needle as you can see here. So I will be presenting on the Spanish needle. Yes, yes, the Spanish needle and this will be an informative one, a very informative one. So as you know, here in Jamaica, the Spanish needle is a very versatile plant and we can find it just about anywhere. So let's see how many places we can find this video. We can find this plant, I should say. Around this section, around this section again, found a great quantity. This is the Spanish needle that we have found here. And I know a um, lot of us are very, very familiar with this plant because this plant normally, childhood days, we usually catch the bees of these flowers. is also a herb this flowers that we have here is a herb and the other name for this spanish needle is bidens pelosa now the bidens pelosa can be easily identified due to the colors the yellow and white and the green colors it is easily identified and usually this flower is to rabbits so this is really a traditional herb and now we'll further tell the uses even the the side effects of it all particularly just the history so do enjoy so here we're back again with our Spanish needle it comprises of anti-inflammatory antimicrobial and anti-malarial properties now this plant grows two centimeters no sorry i should say it grows two meters annually so right so right throughout the year we would normally have the spanish it being in the sun ever so often it has a lot of vitamin c now another name because of the aggressive growth of the plant, sometimes it may become a bit weedy also Spanish needle, we have the blackjack, we have the needle grass, the broomstick, and the beggar stick. How interesting! It is also an expectorant stimulant and it may be used to treat asthma. And as I said before, it contains vitamin C. The bidden spilosa is a medical herb and it is traditionally used to treat wounds, burns, even rashes. It helps with respiratory tract infections and even the common cold now the bidens pelosa sometimes for the for the rash what they would do they would boil the leaf and the seed of the plant and let it cool and then normally they would apply that to the wound or the burn rashes you have now here as you can see as you can see, we have some of the bidden spilosa and usually what they would do is boil it or let us say steam it like you're steaming cabbage or kalu. What they would do is they would steam it and they said that it helps to um it helps with boil movement also. So it is a great So it is a great plant which helps with boil movement. Due to its antiseptic extracts, it can be used also as a mouthwash. Due to its antiseptic properties, the extracts of the plant of the Spanish needle can be used as a mouthwash. 
it is also used to treat joint discomfort and joint discomfort and swelling the juice of the plant is used on cuts and uh, no i think the ec well the extract from the plant if you are having an ear infection or ear ache then you could use the drops of the spanish needle how interesting now the leaves are boiled and eaten like i just said and they help to, with the, the boils the roots yes the roots of the plant as we can see here the roots are prepared the roots are prepared well they prepare normally they prepare it by boiling it so if you have a child that has worms or frequent occurrence of worms then it is good for you to boil the roots of the Spanish needle yes the same one that we have in our yards it is great we can use the roots to help with the worms also the main the flower the flower this part with the blooms the flower can when it is soaked in it in white rum it can help to alleviate toothaches so when whenever you're having a toothache and i know much of us here in the caribbean we do have these flowers wild we have them wild in our yards so once we get get pick i get something like what i have here you get some of the flowers off it get some white rum at the shop or wherever available soak it and you can use a toothache now the tea so as i said before the tea the tea for the plant can be used to treat rash and burns the leaves are used they can be steamed and the flowers which I said if so the flowers in the white room and it can help a lot with so again for the Spanish needle the name the term for it is Vincent Pelosa it is widely grown in our Caribbean region described due to the color the properties and normally these plants are given to rabbits they contain an adequate amount of vitamin anti-inflammatory properties they help great with asthma great for teeth ache ear infection pains swellings rashes anything so please take the effort take the time and try our Spanish needles and for the side effects the Spanish needle is not to be taken by lactating or pregnant mothers and mothers who are also lactate to avoid best to avoid this this herb that we have here so i do hope i do entrust that you did enjoy my video and i hope to see you another time thank you so